Hi everyone, I'm Damian and I lead the brand studio team here at Figma. Since today Google is hosting their Gemini work event and spotlighting Figma's AI image tools, we thought it'd be fun to share how our team's been using Nano Banana for our own brand names, all in Figma. So let's jump in. Like many brand teams, we work on brand campaigns and the real world events and activations that go along with them. In fact, we're running a global campaign with pop-ups in cities like New York, San Francisco, London, Paris, and Tokyo right now. But one of the unsung parts of campaign development is presenting or showing the full vision, especially early on. But context is important. These things exist in the real world. Now, while most of the work looks like this when we're developing it, we often slap it into the mockups that everyone else is using to make our concepts feel real. But lately we've been ditching the mockups altogether and just using real photos of the actual placements. Let me show you. So this is a photo of a corner in San Francisco where we are gonna put up some at-home creative. Now, to mock this up, all I need to do is select one of these pieces of creative. I'm gonna copy it as a ping and you'll see why in a second. And I'm gonna come back over to this image. Once I select the image, I'm going to hit edit image and I'm going to type in a simple prompt. So replace the gray on the wall in this photo with the attached poster design. And then I'm going to paste in an image I just copied. And what this is going to do is it's going to maintain the design context of that ping file that I shared, but also the integrity of the photo that it's editing. And it'll capture lighting, texture, all of those things. Yeah, pretty good job actually. Um, if you take a look, even the shadow, it's capturing that too. So this is something that would work really well in a presentation just to kind of get your concept moving forward. Now, another thing I want to share with you is we often work on swag and merch for our events. And this is a bandana design that we made. Um, it's a really beautiful design, but it's, it's just a square, right? Like it doesn't necessarily read as a bandana, but what we can do is if I hit this image, select this image and I hit edit image, um, I can put a prompt in here. So using this bandana design, generate a realistic studio product photograph with a few natural wrinkles to highlight its texture and materiality. And I'm hit add image. Now you'll notice that was a more verbose prompt than the previous one. Um, but I find, you know, the more direction you give, um, the better the results are. So see how this is? Yeah, and that's pretty good. We can actually take this one step further and I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna hit edit image one more time and I'm gonna say, fold this in half at the corners and take a photograph of it at a angle sitting on a neutral surface. I'll hit edit, edit image and we'll see if we can get this at another angle um, with also the retaining all that materiality. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Cool. So we've been having a ton of fun um, experimenting with this and improving the way we're sharing the work that we're developing, bringing others into the to the vision that we might have, and really excited to see what you all are doing with it as well, especially those brand designers out there. So um, share what you're making, tag us at Figma, and uh, can't wait to see what you create. Yeah.